is the direction that I've just walked from and that sky looks pretty nice however that's the direction I'm heading in and that looks a bit angry well I've come up to Banners Head Quarry and um, I've had to put the vlogging camera really low to the ground with the legs completely splayed out because it is so windy up here the wind has just dropped to something a little bit bearable but I've already caught my camera and tripod a couple of times the, cat, the tripod has already fallen over on its own luckily with no camera on it so I've got to be a little bit careful but the walk from uh, Little Arrow I think it's called to here oh what a beautiful walk it's um I suppose it's about half an hour 45 minutes something like that I don't know I did stop or well, quite a few times but it's such a nice walk it really is anyway I'm at the quarry but at the moment there's some that you know the wind is blowing some rain through and it's still very dark inside the quarry at the moment what I'm getting is some really nice light up on the peaks so I thought I'm just going to stick around here for a little while and um, put the long lens on and try and get some shots of some nice light and layers. Well, my heart just skipped a beat just then because uh, I did actually take the camera off the tripod. But I forgot that I did. And as I was setting up the vlogging camera, I heard the tripod go over, but luckily, oh, I had taken the camera off. Yeah, it's just so windy up here, but it's absolutely beautiful. It really is. And I, I don't know if I'm in the best place for photography, but I, I don't want to leave. It's just the views that I've got all around me, just looking down in the quarry and then looking up at the fells and some of it's in light, some of it's in shadow. The other fell, which could be the old man of Coniston over there, or that could be the old man. I'm not really good at pinpointing mountains, but yeah, it's really moody, really dramatic. The cloud coming over, and if I look behind me to the east where the sun's coming up, oh, what a place to spend the morning. I watched a video last night by Gary Norman, RE Photography, and he's five in five, and I'll put the link up now to the video. And I often think that me and Gary could have been separated at birth because, uh, you know, the things that he, oh, that wind. Yeah, some of the things that, that Gary says, you know, are just, they're my thoughts exactly. And uh, a couple of things that he said in this video, I won't kind of spoil it all for you because it's only a five or seven minute video, so I really urge you to check it out. But um, one of them was as kind of almost like living a more healthy lifestyle. And I must admit, since I have been shooting landscape photography, you know, I have, it's, 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 the, it's the, the camera that gets me to these locations. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love walking, I love being out, outside. But having a place to go and a purpose to go there, um, I, just, I just think landscape photography brings so much more um, to your life than, than just taking a picture. So I think I'm gonna kind of echo Gary and I'm gonna try and eat a little bit more sensibly and because uh, I do quite a physical job so you know my fitness is kind of there but it's the it's the lifestyle that I that I choose which which makes it pretty poor and also something I mentioned earlier in this video unless I've cut it out is um, you know I, I, I want to start looking at my images as if I was going to be buying one of them. You know, I just don't want to take an image anymore because I think, oh, that kind of looks, that looks okay. You know, I want to, if I'm going to up my game in photography, I think what I need to do is, is be looking at each image as if I was going to buy it. 
and at the moment the image that I'm shooting there uh, I possibly wouldn't but if I get the right light I think I would wouldn't pay a lot for it you know a couple of quid but nevertheless this is an image that I think would catch my eye <laughs> this is, um, I tell you, this is absolutely beautiful up here, but these conditions, and I know I shouldn't be moaning, but I'm gonna, but it's just so hard. Literally every time I dry the lenses, I keep getting a load of spray on there. And every time I, I check the image, there's a water droplet and uh, the image is ruined, but I've got, I've obviously got the, the 24 to 105. So there's one lens. I've got the polarizer. So that's another, but then you've got the inside and the outside, and depending which way the, the wind's blowing. And then I've got the, um, what have I got? I've got the 0.9 medium grad filter on. So there's, there's four things to clean and four things to, to keep dry constantly. Right, that wind has just dropped just for a second. All right, let's see if this works. All right, let's get that back to infinity. <laughs> oh, the spray. Oh, give me a break, please. Oh look, now I've knocked the camera off. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes you think, I don't know why I'm bothering. The photo's not that good anyway. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Dazza, give it up, son. What are you doing? I think what I'm going to have to try and do is literally clean the lens and then just press the button. Two second timer, pressed. Right, what does that look like? Oh, it looks hideous. Honestly, I, I can't do this. <laughs> looks so nice it really does you guys are, are perched on right on the edge of the ledge I'm terrified that camera is gonna fall over trying to keep this clean oh what am I doing today all right I'm just gonna have to keep persevering I'm just gonna have to keep Percy pigging do you know what I think that might be as, oh, I think that might be as good as I'm going to get. I think it's time now to, to move on. Well, I'm struggling <laughs> at the moment with this wind and this spray. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to go down. I'm gonna start heading down to, to lower ground because uh, it's great for walking, it really is. But for photography, <laughs> I'm really struggling. Well, I've come down about three or 400 foot and there is not a drop of wind, literally. It's uh, all right, the landscape down here isn't quite as, as pretty, but uh, yeah, it's beautiful down there. Up there was brutal. 
Now, I've just got off the phone to Helen. And in fact, you know what? I think we know each other well enough now because I never call her Helen. I just call her Els. So from here on in, she will be referred to as Els. So anyway, just got off the phone to her and she said, uh, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I think I might try and have a go kind of along the stream, a few waterfalls. And she said, well, I'll tell you what, if you come back now, I'll buy you a couple of beers and a pub lunch. <laughs> and that was a no brainer. So I'm going to end this video now. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, well, you guys know what to do. But until next week's video, see ya.